good morning everyone we are on our way up into the mountains this morning um we're gonna be fishing brookies today i haven't fished brookies in gosh probably two or three months at the least been spending most of my time on the um on the lake and uh the spring fishing for carp and then hitting the lower rivers for smallmouth um and uh focusing mostly on that so water's been really low it's been really dry around here the last few months so i've mostly left the trout alone but we've got some rain today and uh things are looking pretty good stream flow wise and all that up here on the north carolina side so i'm headed to north carolina and uh we're gonna drop into some little tributaries um they're actually unnamed there's i mean i couldn't i couldn't name drop them and spot burn if i wanted to there's no there's no name for these creeks um that are tributaries to another river so we're gonna jump in um off of the skyway and work our way down and um and uh, see if we can find some brookies and hopefully there's a little bit of rain has helped and it's not too terribly dry shouldn't be i think the north carolina side got a pretty good amount of rain so I'm overdue for being in the mountains and fishing for brookies. So I'm really excited about today. Uh, so we got a little bit more of a drive time, a drive here, and then we're gonna um, hike down, hike in a bit before we actually get to where we're fishing. So uh, I'll throw in anything I see that's cool along the way. Um, but otherwise, we'll see y'all when we get to the water. There you go. Yeah, it's a little advertising. <laughs> Smart. All right, we're headed down the mountain here. Damn, I just watched you slip and did the same thing. Um, but yeah, so we're, I fished this creek one other time. Uh, it was the dead of winter, it's February, which looking back is not a great idea to fish creeks up, up in the three, 4,000 foot range in the dead of winter. It's pretty cold. It was, I think, 19 degrees on the Skyway that day. Um, and so caught one brookie and otherwise it was a pretty slow day i think they were more or less uh shut down so we should have much better luck today we've had some rain it's been super dry in fact i'm really excited because i haven't been up here fishing for brookies in gosh three months so i'm long overdue um but it's been so dry i've focused on carp and bass and other things until we've got some water so we finally have some water we've got some rain we're walking through a bunch of nice sticky mud right now so um so streams ought to be in great shape it should be like the perfect day for this so really looking forward to it we're going to keep hoofing it down this trail uh, we'll see you here in a little bit when we get to the water so stay tuned all right so we made it to the creek a little longer hike than I thought it was gonna be about, I think my friend Chris about three miles. And he's already out there fishing. He's got a uh, Tenkara rod, so he doesn't have much to set up. But uh, I thought while I'm setting things up, I'll kind of go over my gear today. So I've got my three weight, my seven and a half foot three weight. This is my Winston Pure, seven and a half three. Um, with that, I pair it with a Ross Colorado. This is the older style Colorado. They've got a newer updated version now, but Click and Paul, you know, pretty simple, pretty durable. Um, I've got the uh, SA Creek Trout line on there, which is kind of a mess. I'm gonna have to peel a bunch off and straighten it out. But um, the Creek Trout line is amazing. It's a half line size heavy, I believe, and a really aggressive front taper, which makes it um, really easy to load that rod and make some pretty good, precise, short casts um, under rod roto and, and through these pockets and all of this where we're not really casting very far. So uh with that i'm gonna i think just start out with a little dry fly i've got an ant i've got these in the shop i haven't tried them out yet they look pretty cool look like they float well we're gonna give that a try and uh, i might as well put a fresh leader on it's been so long since i've been up here doing this stuff might as well start with a fresh leader so i've got a uh absolute creek trout six foot four x um six foot leader is plenty these fish aren't really line shy and the shorter the leader and the more fly line you can get out the guides uh, and incorporate it into the cast, the better your casting is gonna be. Um, if, you're, if your leader's too long, you're more or less just casting the leader. You're not gonna get, uh, you're not gonna get very accurate casting or tight loops or 
a lot of control over that. So I like to go pretty short. 4X is fine too. Um, they're not, again, not line shy. I might add a little bit of 5X to it. But we're gonna start there. So I'm gonna get rigged up. Uh, Chris is already down there somewhere and uh, I haven't heard him hooting and hollering yet. So maybe he's not caught anything, but we saw a few brookies while we were walking in. We had to walk down this creek here. So um, they should be feeding. It's not really high water. We've gotten some rain. Just enough to kind of cool things up off and stay in that water up a little bit. So that should help. But we'll find some fish here pretty soon. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get rigged up and uh, then we'll hit the water. So see you on the stream in just a minute. A little better fish. Colored up. It's nice and pretty too. Good healthy southern strain brookie right there. Off you go. Yeah, that's good. It should be about the size we find today, or a little bigger. It's so dark, yeah. Oops. Oh, he smoked, he hit that thing like a freight train. I thought he was a monster. <laughs> how dark they get. Stunner. Yep. That is a beauty. Oh, hey, said right in front of that rock. He ate it. Uh, I'm gonna get a net for him. I want to yeah, better look at him. I get my net out. Yeah. yeah, it sunk and he just hung. He was hanging out right on the that edge there on that rock. He inhaled it. I didn't bring any forceps, I might have to borrow a pair from you. Yeah, nice colors to them. It's ready to go. Sweet. All right, he was sitting in that little bitty pocket right there. Just never know. Oh, that tree. Well, they're sitting skinny right now. Not a bad fish for like six inches of water. We're starting to get a little bit of a pattern here. It seems like some of the bigger fish are in these smaller pockets. Yep, look at that one. Dude, out of the tiniest little pocket. That might be the longest fish yet. Look at that one. That's a great example of a little small stream southern brookie right there. Nice. 
You got some color. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, that's a good healthy size right there. He's getting some color on him. They can feel it, it falls around the corner. Yeah, he'll be real colored up here in another month or so. Pretty decent. Ooh. Colored up like all get out though, huh? I think there's got to be a pretty decent fish in here. Somewhere in here. Bad little fish. Oh yeah, I thought that was a fish sitting there. I wasn't entirely sure. A little shadow started moving. Yep, there might be another one stacking that tail out too. He's cut a pretty one, all colored up. Yeah, I love little spots like that where they just hunker down on that bedrock. Man, oh man, I forgot how pretty this is up here. There's your, I see your fly. Yeah, it's sitting on the bottom. <laughs> it's not rolling along the bottom. We'll call that a win if you get the fly back. Yeah, you did. Here you go. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, cool, isn't it? I said we haven't get, we haven't even got to the real steep stuff yet. This is nothing. Yeah. Yeah, this is a beautiful spot. Just, a, just imagine a creek like this doesn't even have a name. It's just wild. We got to get a good fish out of here. There he is. 
It's not big. But it couldn't pick a prettier spot. You got a beautiful home, buddy. Gosh, look how dark colored they are. Beautiful. All right, try what you got on. See if we, you got a dry or a bugger? Oh yeah, you'll get some. You'll get something on this. Ooh, really? Yeah. Let's smack him upside the head a little bit. <laughs> Teach him a lesson. What's up, salamander? What's up, dude? So we're getting at the point of the creek where we start getting a lot of gradient. It starts getting real steep. It should pick up. We should start getting some pretty good fish. So I think what's going on in the lower section in that trib is uh, the fish are moving a lot more. They're probably migrating down, down the creek where they've got more water. Oh, there he's got one. There he is. But uh, up here, you've got these barriers, and they're not getting up this, so they're probably not getting getting down to either the same put. Which, oddly enough, there seems to be as much, if not more, water in this creek than uh, there was in the main branch. So um, we should have good flows, and with steeper gradient like this, we'll find some good pools up here still. Now this falls right here is pretty wild. So imagine lifting a 100 pound dog up and over your head <laughs> to get him up and over that ledge. That's why I didn't bring her this time, as much as I would have loved to. And it's got a good pool underneath it too. Oop, missed one. Can barely see my fly. You still got that bugger on? Yeah. Uh, I'll scramble up that log and up that. You got to go up that log and up that. So when I had my dog with me, I, I think I, I think I like pushed her up that way. And then I had to go this way, and she was, she was freaking out because I wasn't up there, so she kept trying to come down this way. And I was yelling at her, like, stay up there. I'm just waiting for her to slide down this thing. So, as much as I love her and want to get her out, I don't think she wouldn't have much fun either. Oh, I missed him. He's little. Oh, easy. <laughs> I'm afraid he's going to go up in the roto. I'd never find him again. Oh, he's beautiful, though. For being like a three inch fish. You can see it's pretty rugged back here. Um, we could go up that log after that ledge. I've done that last time. But as long as this isn't slick, I might be able to skirt the face of this falls here. As long as it's not slick right here, it should be all right. Yeah, good little ledge there. I think last time I was here, there was a lot of water, and this is actually another little waterfall right here. So, 
That's pretty deep. I'm surprised there's not more rookies in there, but uh, maybe they're in there. Hiding out. Cool little spot. So everybody check this out. So if you knew where to look, you can actually see this big falls from uh, satellite, which is pretty wild. And it's a uh, it's a little nerve wracking getting around it. All right, we gotta find our way up this thing. Wow! On the right, just gotta hang on to that roto and kind of climb your way up. about halfway up. <sighs> about halfway up. Might be a little bit easier. It's not quite the drop, at least. But it's not easy, it's rugged. Mom, if you're watching, sorry to make you worry. <laughs> I'll be all right. Yowzers. It's the longest slide I've ever been on in this part of the world. Especially on a creek so small. We're starting to wonder if there's any fish up here at all. Chris found a pretty decent one here. That one. Yes, sir. Not a bad rookie for no, no, no. considering where he came from. Promising. Oh, oh. There. Not bad. It's not bad considered considering what we've been seeing. Oh, 
Right. <laughs> yeah, not much water left. It's amazing how quickly it got small. Pretty good size. Uh, further down around those plunge pools and then as soon as we got out of that it was kind of sandy gravel smaller rock stuff it all but disappeared so I don't know how much good we'll do from here on back to the trail but maybe we'll get another fish or two if we're lucky there's not much water to fish up here yeah I'll try this pocket up here Surely, it's beautiful up here. There we go, come on. Oh, there's a good one in there. He just swirled on it, yep. Real nice, I mean, he for up here. Oh, oh, he chased it, he chased it. <laughs> what, is, what was he thinking? Why would you chase that? There he is, there he is. Not a bad fish for way the for way the heck up here. <laughs> a little excitement. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. There we go. Yeah, for way the heck up here. This little bitty creek. That's not bad. We'll take it. That was great. That would be cruising all over the place. Yeah. For sure. Oh, missed that. Oh, there he is. He's got it. He's got it. Good fish. Hang on to him. Real nice fish. That could be the pool boss there. Good fish. Good fish. Is it the same one that ate it twice? I think so, yeah. I was set him on it first and I was like, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a beauty. You can't ask for any better than that no, up here. No, you cannot. That's a beauty. That's look at look at that man. I mean that falls and everything, like hard to beat. You can't beat that scenery. Wow. God, it's pretty. So pretty. All right, let's see what we can pull out of here. Oh, there was one that came out from underneath that tree. Oh, 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 look at that one. Woo. Wow, that thing came flying out from underneath that tree. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that bugger breaks their brains, I swear. Ouch. This way. <laughs> yeah, it gets real steep over there. There's like nothing to hang on to. Right, so there's the falls. <sighs> made it. Made it. Okay. I said we made it. Yep. That's a good drop. Yeah. Beautiful creek. It's wild how it can go from like 10 feet across to 40 yeah, feet across. Feet yep. Oh, they want to fish. Oh, we got it. It might have been the same one that spooked. There he goes. 
That was cool. They're in here. <clears throat> well, that fish will be eating a dry fly or not. Seems like they're pretty selective on that stuff today. There's, oh, that's, that is a good fish, man. Yep. That's a really good fish. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's looking for it. Come on. There it is. Come find it. Come find it. Oh, he's way down here. Here he comes. There he's oh, got there it. He yep. <laughs> he started looking around. Yep. He started going in circles <laughs> looking for that thing. I love when they do that. He's like, I know there was a bug here somewhere. <laughs> he's beautiful, too. This high up, they're probably getting colored up. Yeah. Starting to. Barely hooked. I'm lucky I got him. Gorgeous fish. He's getting a black on his belly. Yeah, let me get one for the camera here. Beautiful. That black on his belly. All right, so we're done with the creek. We had a good time. Uh, wasn't sure what to expect because neither one of us had really fished up it too far. But uh, yeah, all, all in all, not bad. Just for as low as the water is. And there's probably a lot of fish we were spooking. We didn't know we were there. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm a little out of breath. We're hoofing it up this hill, making our way back to the skyway. So uh, it's pretty up here. It's fairly cool for being September and Tennessee and North Carolina, but uh, it's nice because we're above the line where the roto likes to likes to uh, grow. So just like all elm, ash, oak, maybe some birch, and all this grassy stuff. So it's an uphill climb for us, but at least it's uh, pretty open, pretty clear. But yeah, we had a good time. We'll, we'll be back. Maybe hit that again when there's more water. See if uh, if this is better for us. But but no, uh, it's good. Uh, great to be out of course anytime you can fish and catch a little native brookies like that's a good day so hope y'all enjoyed the video uh we'll probably do another brookie video here in another couple weeks or so um try to hit it while things are cooling down so hope you enjoyed it we'll see you on the next video